Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, I am Kat Meffern and this is a review slash haul. Um, I didn't want this just to be like an active wear haul where I was like prancing around and just showing you things that look nice. Um, though I am gonna prance around and show you things that look nice, I really want this review to be a review. So I have tested all of the items and the brands that I'm gonna show you. I have tested them in the scenario and the activity that I would use them for. Um, and we're gonna talk about the functionality, the technicality of them. I'm also gonna do a, like a kind of on the spot, a vinyasa and squat test of each pair of leggings and bra um, and talk about the brands. And we're also gonna be talking a little bit about underwear. <laughs> Super sexy, especially these ones. Um, so we're gonna talk about the underwear first. Um, just as well to say, as we go throughout this and I start trying things on, the sound quality won't be quite as good because I'm not gonna have my microphone attached to every single pair of leggings. Um, so I will kind of be further back there, but you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. I just wanted to nip it in the bud that it won't be quite as clear as it is right now. Now, back to pants. Now. I get asked quite a lot what kind of underwear I wear underneath um, leggings. Now, if you're somebody that likes more of a full coverage on your underwear, then I'm probably not the best person to ask because I only wear thongs. Um, so I can't help you when it really, like I don't really think that even seamless kind of fuller coverage, I just don't think that they, that they are fully seamless or maybe they're just not for me. Um, so I wear literally, either, a, well, depending on the leggings. What I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing a pair, pair of Atala Edge leggings and I'm just wearing a normal thong. It's got kind of actually like a, um, a bit of stitching around it. It's not seamless, but it does the job and it is perfectly fine. If I've got a thinner pair of leggings, like sometimes in some of the Gymshark pairs, um, in some of the kind of like the aloe airbrush leggings, I would wear a seamless a seamless underwear or a seamless thong. Um, and if not in black, if I need a lighter color, then I would go for this nude. Um, this brand is Nubian Skin. Um, I've had them a while. And then I think that these are M&S. Uh, yeah, they look like M&S to me. <laughs> Something like that. So you just want to look for, for seamless. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at in the, in the pants department. So let's talk about active wear. Now, not all of the brands I'm going to talk about are um, sustainable. Um, and with consumerism crazily on the rise, um, and you know, we're, we're in a culture and a world of just buy, buy, buy all the time. The reason for me doing more of a review and making it a lot more technical is because I want you to think a lot more about what it is that you are purchasing. Um, because as, as lovely as it is to have, you know, lots and lots of pairs of leggings, you might find that there's a pair that I talk about today that actually you can do both yoga and go to the gym in rather than feeling like you need to buy two pairs. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what you can and can't buy at all. Um, that's not my job in this, in this video. It's not what I wanna be doing here, but all I am saying is just be mindful. Like if you like, if you really love something and it's gonna make you happy, then by all means, go ahead and purchase and wear it loads um, and enjoy it. Um, if you're kind of, you know, thinking, ah, oh, just buy it as kind of, you know, maybe I'll wear them, maybe I won't, then maybe think again about that purchase, okay? So without further ado, I'm gonna to talk to you about Tala, which is what I'm wearing right now. So Tala is a sustainable brand set up by Grace Beverly. A lot of you will know her as Grace Fit. She is a lovely, lovely lady and super, super intelligent. Um, and we used to be with the same management company. So I fortunately got to actually, you know, spend time with Grace and she is just crazy passionate and um, hardworking. And you can really see that in, in the design of her active wear. Um, so it is, it's not 100% sustainable. The way that um, Grace was able to get the price at the level that it is, was by having a very small percentage um, of what of the fabrics um, as a non uh, sustainable, so it wasn't a, a recycled um, bit of fabric. But then the rest of it is, I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe it's around 80%, um, but that's definitely worth doing your research on. And then in terms of the style, so I'm wearing this long sleeve top. Now I actually 
bought this in a size a little bit too small. This is an extra small and you can see that it's pulling here slightly. Sorry, I'm going to be looking at the viewfinder so I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but having said that, even though it is a little bit small for me and I would have preferred a small, it's still great. I can do everything that I want to do in it. And then I'm actually wearing it with the edge leggings. You can see here what I mean about the underwear. You can't really see anything. You might be able to see a slight line. Um, but yeah, and they just look really good together. I've also got the matching leggings to this top um, and the light, the really light gray leggings. Now I'm gonna do the test. So I'm gonna remove my microphone and you're gonna still be able to hear me. I know you are. So getting on the mat now. And let's take a little downward facing dog. So super high waisted and I can roll them over as I come forwards. There's just like no movement. They are so comfy. No chafing, no nothing. Like really honestly, they feel so good. And I'll do a little squat test for you. <laughs> there we go. So, and I've, you know, I've already checked this. Um, and I have, so this for yoga, this is for me, the, one of the best hybrids that I'm gonna show you in terms of training in the gym, getting super sweaty, um, and then also doing your yoga as well. Um, you know, if you do a lot of power yoga and you get quite sweaty in your power yoga, then this one is gonna be really great for you. But I have done some serious sweat sessions in these, uh, these pieces and I, you know, and I get a really sweaty crotch. <laughs> And I did not get a sweaty crotch, which was nice. So yeah, full marks for Tala. Um, in terms of legging size, I'm wearing a small here, but my other two pairs, my pink pair are an extra small, and my light gray pair are an extra small, and they both fit me really well. Like I really love this cinched in waist. I love this. I like it being quite tight and like holding everything in. Um, so yeah. It depends, I guess, what you're after. If you want something with a bit more room, because they are they, they are tight. So if you want something with a bit more room, then maybe size up. They're also great for tall people because they are really, really long. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next outfit. Okay, so this set is from Beyond Yoga, from the Sports Edit. Um, I, I love it. Oh my gosh, it feels so soft. It's so soft to wear. Um, the material is amazing. So Beyond Yoga is um, an American brand, but like I say, they're stocked on the sports edit. For those of you in the UK and Europe, you can get it on the sports edit. Obviously I'm gonna link to everything below, as you know. So in terms of activity, I would only wear Beyond Yoga for either just lifestyle and lounging around or for yoga. I wouldn't train in the gym. They're not supportive enough for me. Um, I'm wearing the leggings in a small, but I wish I'd got them in an extra small. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see here, but they're just a little bit big for me here, um, which is fine for, you know, for what it is I'm gonna do. But I personally, yeah, I would have preferred them in an extra small. I'm gonna do the test for you. So the vinyasa test. So, come forwards. Now, the only thing, they feel amazing. Like you almost feel like you're kind of not wearing anything. That's kind of how good they feel. The only thing that I would say is that because these are super thin straps, you're gonna to wanna to be careful. If you are slightly bigger of bust, um, I filmed in this bra top actually earlier and did find that it was kind of coming down a little bit. Um, because obviously there's not a huge amount of like bust space here. So I would just be mindful of that. It's so soft and so lovely, but yeah, I think that if you are slightly bigger of bust, it's not gonna be quite as supportive for you. Um, but I'm guessing it wasn't designed that way. Um, in terms of if you did wanna go and do like a weight session and squat, pretty sure it's quite squat proof. <laughs> this is the where I get all the creeps coming to the active wear halls to see the squat. So yeah, Beyond Yoga um, and the colors so lovely. Really, really just like a tiny bit of like design detail, which I love. Like it's really simple because you'll see that in this, in this uh, review, I've kind of changed a lot. I wear a lot less prints now than I used to. I have got a few prints to show you, but just I love kind of an all, a full color these days. 
Um, right, I'm gonna show you a, another one. Um, I've got a big pile like off screen of loads of things that I wanna show you. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so aloe yoga. Um, I'm gonna show you the leggings. I've got the matching leggings to this set. So I'm gonna come up close. So it's this really beautiful um, kind of marl, like purple marl effect. Really, really soft. There's padding in the cups, which you can remove, of course, and the back of it is just this little crisscross here. The shorts, high-waisted. They actually stay high-waisted, more so than the leggings, which is interesting. The leggings are high-waisted, but they kind of come, when you're moving, they kind of slowly lower a little bit. Now, Aloe Yoga, um, not a sustainable brand. I don't know if they have, I mean, Aloe Yoga do some really good stuff within the community. Um, they support a lot of projects in the third world countries, helping with children. In terms of their fabrics, they have they yet to do anything with uh, recycled materials. And also the bigger they get, the only thing that I have noticed that I am a little bit now wary of is the fact that they, ha they, they are releasing so much new stuff. And obviously this is what you find, when brands are smaller, they release lower quantities, um, less collections. And then when they start growing, suddenly it's not just two collections a year, it's four collections a year. Um, and they're not just kind of small collections, they're huge collections. So. I think that's my kind of thing to be, I love Aloe and I love their stuff. Again, this is available in the sports edit, um, links will be below. And I really, really do love what, their, what their, their clothes are all about, but there's definitely part of me that now I'm kind of trying my best when it comes to clothing to do, you know, a better job at being um, more aware and more conscious and sustainable that these aren't the best brands. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I'm working on it. I am very much still on my sustainable journey, probably as, as much as a lot of you are as well. Um, so like I said, I've got the lounge leggings as well. And they're purple and they've just got, the, they've just got this, uh, the ribbed bit at the bottom. Um, they're full length. And like I said, I'm gonna show you the flow in, in the shorts. They do ride up, they're teeny tiny shorts, but you know, for me, I'm, I'm happy, I've got quite big thighs, so even if a pair of shorts on me sat here or here, they'd end up here, and I think that's why I like these shorts, because I know where they're gonna sit, and I know they're not gonna, they can't ride up any further than they already do. Um, so yeah, you'll see that the high waist stays in position. Obviously the bust is low, it's supported, but it's low. So again, one just to be mindful of if you are slightly bigger, um, bigger in the bus, then it's one just to be a little bit more mindful of, I would say. Um, okay, so on to the next. I feel like you know these. I feel like I don't need to put these on. By the end of this video, I'll probably wish I had put them on and you'll comment below saying, why didn't you show us the leggings? But <laughs> I'm not gonna do it because there's too many others to get through. So not moving away from aloe just yet. I wanna show you the lounge stuff. Oh, so this is my kind of favorite tracksuit. Um, you know I'm just kind of really like in a very <laughs> non-sexy way getting ready for you. But this is just so cute, especially if you're going to like hot yoga and you've got little shorts on and you want to put something over the top of me. And I wore this tracksuit all weekend. Um, so yeah, it's ribbed, it's a cropped jumper, but it's not kind of too cropped. It's really, I, I mean, I really, really love it. I actually, the other day, I kind of like wore it with it tucked in at the front, just so you saw that separation. Um, but yeah, I love it. If I come close, is it gonna go out of focus? Who knows? But yeah, I really, it's really cozy and just, you can do all of the movement. <laughs> in it. So yeah, that's another aloe yoga from the sports edit and I will link to it below for you. Okay. Now we're actually onto a different brand. <laughs> so 
So this is Girlfriend, uh, Girlfriend Collective, um, a US-based sustainable brand made from recycled materials, really soft. So if you want it in the UK or Europe, the sports edit again, you'll know that I get a lot of my stuff from the sports edit. Um, what I would say is awesome for yoga, um, really nice and high-waisted. The top I'm wearing is a small, the bottoms are a small, but I wish I'd gone extra small, so in their shorts, I wear an extra small. They're just a little bit, again, loose around here, but really nice and high-waisted. Um, even though, if you were doing a sweaty workout, they would show crotch sweat, um, unless you've got the black shorts, which are amazing, which I've been running in. I've been, I've done HIIT classes, I've lifted weights. But these, if you're not doing a super sweaty workout and you are just in the gym doing weights, then I would say that these are actually really great as well for that, as well as yoga. Um, great for like hiking, um, any kind of like outdoorsy stuff and just lounging around, really, really comfortable. And obviously you have the added bonus that they're a sustainable brand, which is nice. The price point is higher than Tala. Um, leggings are, I think, around should have double checked, I wanna say around like 70, whereas, whereas Tala's are around about, I think 50. Um, but I'm gonna do the vinyasa and the squat for you. So, the, it's probably not the best because they're a little bit too big for me around the waist, they don't fully stay up. The bra is so supportive. So, I think anyone would be happy with this bra top, with this crop top. Um, I mean, they felt really good. Like I say, like I already know that they're ever so slightly too big for me here. Um, the bra as well, sometimes if I wanna just change the look, I just roll it under just for a shorter bra top. But the long one's quite is nice. And you feel so supported with this. Really, really lovely soft fabric. Um, so yeah, and the squat test, I will show you. Squat test is always funny because I don't really, I've obviously looked in a mirror, but the light's always so different when I film. So I only really know what it looks like when I go back to edit it. So when I've worked out in them before, they've been very much squat proof, but we'll see on the video. <laughs> okay, um, I'm talking so quickly. Okay, feeling fierce with this sweaty Betty Leopard. I love this. Well, the other day I wore it and my boyfriend was like, what's that on your leggings, are they bananas? I was like, it's leopard print. Um, oh, I, I love this set. Um, fit wise, I wear an extra small in bottoms, small on top, they fit so well, they really cinch in at the waist, which is what I want, because I'm always like fluidly moving, squatting, jumping, inverting. I always want something that's gonna stay in place, which these do. Um, I actually, I don't know if, it, if they're new, but this material, this particular material used for these Sweaty Betty leggings, I haven't had in any of their leggings before. And it's almost kind of like this kind of between, between like a seamless and, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, like a, a breathable kind of seamless fabric. It's really, really soft, but really comfortable. I have done uh, quite a few sweaty workouts in this. I've taught yoga in this. I've done yoga in this. And yeah, sweat patches, none. Um, the bra, I would, if I'm doing um, high intensity, I wear another sports bra underneath because it is just, it's more of a crop top than a sports bra. Um, in yoga, I can do it like that. And, and it's nice that it kind of comes down low. Personally for me, like I said, with the Allo Yoga tracksuit, I like to have a little bit more space. I just know, oh, I, like, I like being able to see that it's a, a two piece rather than a one piece. Um, but if you don't, if you like it all connecting, then it connects, which, which is great. And they do these leggings in seven eighths, so like a sort of ankle grazer, and then also in a full length. So that's also great. And I'm gonna show you the flow. So yeah, they're really nice and fitted. Feeling really strong, obviously no movement through the bra and they're still up around my waist. So yeah, really, I, I like love these. And Sweaty Betty's efforts in terms of being a little bit more 
eco-friendly, conscious, sustainability conscious. They have done, not these, they have done a pair of leggings that were made from uh, plastic bottles. So they are definitely on their way. Um, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's hard for big brands when they've got a certain supply chain and manufacturers to kind of instantly change. But, you know, it's good that they're kind of doing what they can. Personally, you know, there's a lot of backlash, I guess, with brands doing something more sustainable and eco-friendly when they only do it on one thing. But I don't know, I, I suppose, yeah, I mean, no, I don't mean things like, you know, terrible brands like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo. Obviously they are just a joke of the biggest jokes. But a brand like Sweaty Betty, it's like, okay, well, even though yes, like the rest of your stuff isn't made from recycled materials, I think it's great that they've done at least one product and hopefully they're gonna do more whereby they can start, you know, putting it out there even more because the more people that know that recycled clothing is just as good as, you know, brand new fabrics, this is basically, you know, well, this is, but this, the stuff that you get like Tala, like it is like brand new. I think that sometimes we, we assume that when it's made from recycled fabrics, it's not gonna be as good or something like that. But really, if the brands do it well, then they don't like really kind of fault on the quality. Um, so yeah, it's good for, I, I think, that Sweaty, Sweaty Betty are doing something and hopefully they will do more and more. Um, oh, and I also want to sh actually show you, I'm gonna have to go and get it, the, the coat um, from Sweaty Betty, which is awesome. Hold on. Okay, so this Parker jacket, it's lined here with this beautiful fluffiness. It's kind of a parka rainy, for rainy weather. Do you know my favourite feature? Oh, by the way, it has a hood, which is all good. Um, my favourite, favourite feature of this, and it sounds so stupid, is the fact that the pockets are so big that when I... Sometimes when I go out to go and get like a coffee or something, I don't take a bag with me. So I have my phone and my keys, my purse, and then I've got my keep cup. And then when I've drunk my coffee, I've then just got to hold it. These pockets are by far big enough to fit in the keep cup, so that's my favourite feature. And um, yeah, I love it. I'm wearing a size small uh, and it feels really nice. Super cute. Yes. Okay, so I've got two separate brands for you. Both can be found on the Sports Edit. Surprise, surprise. Um, the top is free people. I get asked about these tops all the time. I have a couple of colors and I wear them so much. I don't wear these tops to train in, but I wear them for yoga. I wear them like out of an evening. I wear them with just jeans. Um, and they are ribbed, low cut, and just erase the back. And I just absolutely, yeah, I basically live in these. And then the leggings are a lala. A, a, a lala? I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I don't think I am. Um, snake print, and they are really, they're quite more, they're more of like a, a silky material. Um, and I have to be honest, when I first got them, you can see how they look. Oh, I don't think they did a squat test in the Sweaty Betty, but there you go, that is me a lala. Um, when I first got them, I was a little concerned because they fit really well around the legs, but then they were a little bit looser here. And I went to train in them because I would wear these for training more so than yoga. And I went to training them and I honestly thought that they would be falling down. I did a high intensity workout and then I did some weights and I did some handstand training and they were literally like glued to me, uh, which was really, really good. And I think I think I've got a small or an extra small. Ooh. So they're just a small and that's why usually I would go for an extra small, but yeah. Uh, they will feel really good. I will show you the vinyasa. Oh, how many vinyasas can she do? Yeah. And actually, yeah, so I can feel now. So even in my work, in my workout where they were like fine, they stayed up, they're kind of dropping down now to that point where it frustrates me in yoga and I'd have to keep pulling them up. Whereas I didn't need to do that when I was doing my workout so um that's quite interesting as well for me but you know i i got them primarily for training so they do the job and in terms of sweat patches when they're printed 
it's great because there are none. Um, even if they do, like, I mean, these actually are like quite fast drying. Unlike some of the others, when they're kind of thicker material, like Tala, they don't show sweat, but because they're thicker, they take that little bit longer to dry. Not hugely long, but a little bit longer. Whereas these are a lot like really fast drying. Um, so yeah, that is all of the activewear that I wanted to show you. They're the brands that I wanted to show you. If you have any other brands that you wanna to recommend to me and you want me to review, then obviously comment below. Um, let me know if there are any particular pieces that you loved or didn't love or if you've had a different experience with. Um, but yeah, I think the kind of sums up the, the main brands that I'm wearing at the moment um, and that I'm really enjoying. So yay. I look forward to seeing you for another video very soon. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, of course, leave me a comment. All right, bye-bye.